Uh, when we're going to talk about uh, core conditioning, we're going to talk about using the muscles of the core to stabilize. This is a little bit different uh, than what people classically think. For everything else, usually the role of the muscle is to move. Uh, for example, a bicep is to bend the elbow. Uh, but generally in your everyday life, you're not going to go around and do any of these violent movements where you use your six-pack muscle. Uh, in reality, the role of these muscles is actually to resist motion in the spine. Uh, if we look at the muscles of the core, we're going to look at the diaphragm, we're going to look at the pelvic floor muscles, we're going to look at that six-pack muscle, the rectus abdominis in front, we're going to look at the muscles on the sides of the obliques, and we're going to look inside uh, the deep layer called the transverse abdominis that kind of wraps around the entire body. You also have a couple of other ones in your lower back called the quadriceps lumborum, uh, which kind of acts like um, guide wires to keep your spine straight. The role of this is actually to keep you from moving. Uh, most of the movement should come from the shoulders and hips, which are ball and socket joints. They're very strong, have lots of muscle around it. Uh, the spine, on the other hand, can move and it should be able to move, but you shouldn't move until you know how to stabilize it. Uh, the, the spine is very fragile. It houses your spinal cord. It has the discs that have a tendency to herniate in a lot of people. And so it's very, very important to develop that stability before you start going into movements. So what we're going to be looking at is uh, stabilizing kind of uh, an extension force, so which is going to be in the plank. This is the primary role of that rectus abdominis transverse. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, stabilizing against lateral flexion, which is going to be the role of the obliques and the quadratus lumborum. Uh, all of those together will also re resist rotation a little bit, which is something else that we're going to be looking at.